Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video where today we're going to be creating a barn slash farm type habitat kind of thing. Um, you would have seen it from the thumbnail that we are going to be using mods. Now I'm not going to explain and go into how to actually get mods in Planet Zoo but if you just google it and it's quite easy to do believe me and there's only one mod I've always wanted and that was for pigs and we finally got it. I, I believe actually um, Leaf created um, the mod for pigs so thank you very much Leaf. Um, another Planet Zoo um, content creator as well based on YouTube and the mod modding scene on Planet Zoo and on YouTube is actually blowing up at the moment so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon see what we can do with some modded animals and see what builds can be inspired by having these animals in a habitat and I came up with this barn um, I tried to make this barn as realistic as possible especially the interior I actually went off reference images off Google by you know researching farms and barns so I hope you like it and you can see we're just getting the foundation in now and we'll switch to when the foundation is done here and the only thing uh, left to do now for the actual foundation part is start building the supports and the beams and everything what you'll see in a barn and we end up going with white and that's that done I didn't want to bore you with having you sit through the whole process because it was a lot of fiddly pieces and so yeah there's all the trim of what we need on our actual build and now we need to start making the front door and with this front door again reference images I always say it every time I create something reference images reference images reference images Google some stuff, have a look at how it actually looks and believe me, instead of just using your own imagination, let your imagination and your inspiration be sparked by something that you've seen online by researching what you're actually creating and that's what we did with this barn door. Like I said before, realism, I really went for the realism aspect of this um, and it does pretty cool, come out looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Now you can see me just getting the beams in place and there was a couple of different options of how I wanted this um, front bar door um, looking and I went with quite a simple option but sometimes simple equals effective and I think it did while creating this and I'm actually quite proud of this build and we do end up adding um, the animals in and then we end up adding a little pathway so our guests can come into the barn and view our animals from the inside again giving it that more realistic feel we do end up adding actually a little stall on the outside as well which was created it wasn't my build it was actually created by Mrs T-Rex some of you might know Mrs T-Rex another amazing content creator based on YouTube and she created it and I thought it fitted this build and this creation and this habitat perfectly so I threw it in there and you'll see that sometime um, sometime in this build you see me now after the front door was pretty much done I wanted to move on to these side doors and I wanted again realism I wanted to keep within the same color theme I wanted to keep everything looking quite realistic so we end up adding actual like hinges on the door and um, going off woodwork what actually would work woodwork what would wood what that was a tongue twister wasn't it would work that would work <laughs> in real life see if you can say that if you can't if you can say that fluently the first time drop a that drop a comment down in the comment section and I'll, i don't know i'll send you a 10 pound gift voucher on steam no i won't i'm lying but just let me know if you can say it. So yeah, we end up doing this side and we end up doing the other side as well. And um, these these two outward facing habitats are going to be for a, a doll sheep and for our uh, modded animal, which is the horse. Um, and then at the back of it, um, the, the quite, um, not larger, but it's larger inside part will be for uh, pigs so yeah again you can see me just adding realism adding a chain so it looks like it's hooked on to, to keep the door open and not from swinging into our beautiful sheep and once that was done i ended up 
trying to figure out a way of building a, a custom fence for the inside. And this was probably the most time consuming aspect of this habitat build. And it was, again, it was off a reference image. I know I always said reference image, but it was off a reference image. And I ended up using um, some wood planks and some of the rod shapes, which are really good and really versatile for anything you created. I really do like these rod shapes they added in the game. I believe they added them um, in the aquatic pack. And I play around with them for a little bit and try to get them looking um, the best it possibly could look, to be honest. And you can see me just finishing off the side. Now I've done the front. And this again is just the side panel slash fencing area. And we're just finishing that off looking pretty much the same as the actual gate. And then we copy it over onto the other side. They give it that symmetrical um, look and keep everything looking very similar. And everything running and looking very smooth and fluent and realistic. And there it is in place. Finally done and finally completed. We do end up transferring it to the other side as well. And this is me now just putting our flooring down. I went with, again, probably the most realistic flooring you would get inside of a barn, which is basically just plank woods, what you could actually see through. After that was complete, I ended up deciding to add a little bit of... Um, little bit of realism and a little bit of like area where supplies would be kept where our staff can use and then i moved on to the actual fencing of our habitat of the outside part of the habitat where our animals will be able to go and we went with this tall looking fence um, at first on this side and we do end up going down a bit and um, creating a smaller fence um, on the other side this taller fence is for the horses and the smaller fence will be for our sheep now this is not a custom fence this is actually a fence what's in game and it's probably my favorite fence as well and it works perfectly and if something works then just go with it if it works and it looks good then go with it you don't have to build everything custom it is nice seeing custom fences but if something looks perfect and like it fits just go with it you don't have to always overdo it and we're just getting that in place now and making sure you know that the animals have actually got enough room to be able to roam outside and be able to sleep inside as well like i said earlier our guest viewing will be from actually inside the barn and this is an area where i decided to put in place for our piggies for our lovely pigs and again just giving them an outside area as well as an alternative to an inside area so they will be able to sleep outside and if they want to go outside for you know a drink of um, water and some food they can do and again i just used one of the in-game fences i believe this one came in the aquatic pack as well it might have been the actual australian pack and there is the shop what i mentioned again just a little like fruit and veg shop as well as some herbs growing at the side of it and we decided to add some more farm farm like stuff so it looked like there was actually growing stuff and here is a picture of one hour one of our horses inside the habitat now a guest viewing it from inside of the barn and now we're going to jump over to me in real time so I can give you a full tour of the habitat, any little changes I might have added and to say goodbye. And here we are at the completed stage of our habitat. Um, I'm just going to show you the outside now. You would have already seen the stall of like fruit and veg again. This was created by Mrs. T-Rex. Her workshop link will be in the description below. She also has a YouTube channel, so go and check Mrs. T-Rex out. Added um, these like growing herb kind of things. Obviously they're not herbs, because herbs don't like, actually exist in the game. Neither do um, like vegetables that are currently growing, unfortunately. But yeah, I tried to make it look as realistic as possible. I've also added um, the ones on the side here. And take you back to the front now, as you can see our guests are flowing in and out just like we want them to and I'll give you a tour of the outside first, so a little tour, there's one of our sheep, 
and I'll show you the horses and the piggies soon. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here's one of our piggies. So this is the outdoor area we created. I created this like trough type thing as well, and they can actually drink out of here. I've buried the um, the water enrichment habitat item into this as well, so it is functional. And there's one of our lovely pigs. Now, how adorable is that? Honestly, that how adorable. In fact, it's that adorable. I'm going to take a screenshot. There we go. Kicking up a bit of mud. And there's our other one in there. And obviously, as you can see, they come, can come in and out because we added a little hatchway where they can get in and out. And I'll take you back to the front quickly and I'll take you inside where our guests would come in. And there we've got our sheep. Our guests are viewing them currently. One of our keepers is about to come out. And there's our horses as well. Absolutely amazing work. The modders of, uh, of Planet Zoo, the modding community have done on these mods to get these animals in game. Absolutely amazing. I'm so chuffed with, with everything what's blown up with the modding community. I'm really chuffed for them. Um, I'm really chuffed that we have them and they do everything for free as well you don't have to pay for these mods you can just download them from the nexus.com and have them in game so yeah look I'll be taking some selfies and some pictures of our horses and this is the inside of for our pigs as well they've got a little shelter there which our guests can still see in but it's a bit more private for them again and there's our little um, area where we would naturally keep our stuff we need to maintain um, this farm slash barn. Obviously we've got security cameras as well as lighting in place as well. There's one of our cleaners just cleaning up the poop. And there's, we've got outside and there's where our sheep can go. I wanted to keep it realistic and keeping it realistic means I have to keep it quite simple on the outside as well. Just some open grass area as well as some open grass area for our horses as well. Who seem to just take a massive dump. Lovely. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, yeah, there's pretty much everything. We added this little um, this little thing on the top of here as well. Little clock, little little steam again just trying to give it a unique look and keep it realistic as well as the dirt trails leading to the different farm parts so that is pretty much everything um, i really do hope you enjoyed this build i had a lot of fun doing something different and this is very different obviously with mods in the game now we can start to do different kind of builds i've actually seen a shark mod a hammerhead shark which looks absolutely terrifying but amazing and it's making me want to build a habitat for a shark uh, but yeah my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day if you did like this video and you as like i am excited to be able to use mods in planet zoo then feel free to drop a like subscribe if you're new around here my name's adam and have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one